Well, apparently there's patch notes, so I suppose reading through them would be more than appropriate, my friends. Let us see what the hell the GGG have in store. Uh, shared Azerite Mine. Our initial plan for the Azerite Mine was that you would have a separate one per character. This way, you would get a unique delve experience with each character you create. You could delve at depths appropriate for the character's power level. It's clear from feedback and retrospection that we were wrong with this decision and that the ability to have multiple characters across the same Azerite Mine would be an overall improvement to delve. Same as a right mine? What? This is like a really big deal. What the fuck? Sulfite rebalance. One of the goals we had when we were balancing Delve was that it shouldn't be more profitable to just run Act 9, 10 areas over and over again to farm Sulfite compared to playing in maps. The way we did this was by having the amount of Sulfite increase drastically as you play high tier maps to make them more valuable. <laughs> I don't know, uh, okay. <laughs> For example, the amount of Sulfite per deposit in the quarry is 31, but in tier 16 maps it's 241. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to hit the correct balance here. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were pretty off. We'll also make map item quantity bonuses affect Sulfite. What? We want it so that the player playing harder content is always worthwhile. Okay, that's a fucking really genius change. I love that. In order, in order to compensate for the large amounts of sulfide that you will have, we will increase the caps on sulfide at all upgrade levels. Sick. We will also cap the sulfide cost per delve paths past depth 1000 so that it doesn't require exponentially more map play in order to progress as you delve really deep oh, that's cool too doesn't really affect me after these changes playing high tier maps will be way more efficient as a means of farming sulfide so grinding quarry will not be the best way to get progress in delve hmm. okay well yeah these are great changes i like this uh i especially like the quantity uh, change that's especially nice. I think this is a lot better for hardcore than it is for softcore. Yeah, I do wonder what they come up with in the end. It's a little surprising that it took them two weeks to do this and now two and a half to implement. It's like some people have had plans around certain playstyles and stuff. I'm happy they're doing it and I think Delve will make for good core PoE content, but the more this league goes on, the more I'm thinking they really fucked up with the <laughs> with the initial uh, perspective they had. I especially I especially enjoy this way. You would get a unique Delve experience with each character you create. You could delve at depths appropriate for the character's power level. <laughs> like... What what the hell were they thinking? Straight up, like... How, how is this a thought process ever? And I especially enjoy how... The answer to their question... What initially was a question for them, right? Like, should we do this or should we not do this? Was literally answered by themselves later on in this post, which like completely trivialized the entire th thought process, uh, which was, if you want to have a fresh delve experience on a new character, just travel sideways. <laughs> like, oh man. And yeah, and this is the whole like appropriate to the character's power level thing. That's like really backwards thinking. In an ARPG where like you want to be as greedy as possible and take as many risks as possible and all this sort of stuff for the game to limit you in what's what appropriate for your character, especially if you're rolling another character, it just makes absolutely no sense. That's like limiting the amount of gear that you can equip on a character from your previous characters because 
your character is too strong for that content and we don't want that like it just doesn't it just doesn't make any sense these changes weren't in from the beginning because i think delve is such an amazing concept that to see two and a half weeks into a league them tackle such major issues uh, in such a way is just yeah it's just disappointing especially after incursion that's all just disappointing after incursion but i'm glad they're doing all of this now you can die on hardcore and not lose a ladder spot great change you think people are just going to uh, get their shit back like that? The same way they need to spend the time to get the appropriate gear to delve further. The same way you would have to do that when it comes to just delving down over and over again. I think it's an appropriate change. I feel about top of the ladder being able to just reroll to do 10 delves and not lose position after they die. Again, you still have to gather the gear. The gear is everything. The levels are very meaningful when we're talking about deep dark delves this doesn't affect anybody but 0.000001 percent of the player base and even in that situation it's not just like oh yeah i lost my character let me make another one and just immediately get back to where i was it's like no these characters are characters that you're going to be spending weeks if not months on trying to you know get them to a point where they are actually able to progress in a somewhat safe manner right like this isn't just a matter of snapping your fingers and just getting in it <laughs> it's just not berlin's one wants it to be more punishing not to lose the character but lose progression in delve I can see where he's coming from with something like that, but, uh, and I think there should be a little bit of a drawback, but not like a really major one. I don't think it actually makes a difference unless we're talking about people who have just unlimited amounts of currency on hardcore and can always acquire the best gear under any circumstances, which just isn't the case. I don't think your mind is the same. As losing your atlas it should not be a thing yeah i'd say so but like the thing about if you, the comparison to the atlas is a good one in my opinion because if you lose your atlas then regaining your atlas isn't challenging it's just uh annoying right because you have the maps, you just have to redo all this content that your character overpowers anyway. And yeah, it's just really annoying. So... I kind of saw delves in the same way, honestly. As a person who's re-leveled their delves three or four times. Um, I like delving, but like redoing the same shit to get to a certain point... It wasn't, it wasn't particularly engaging, especially since you have to use the, you have to use the uh, catch-up mechanic. The catch-up mechanic isn't strong enough and you don't need to get there as right because your upgrades are already there. So it's just a matter of like trying to get down as fast as possible while avoiding maps as much as possible because you're already way over leveled for what you're doing and you're always going to be progressing further down way faster than you are uh, you're always going to be gaining levels faster than you are progressing down so you're still going to be over leveled by like 10 levels for the content until like floor 200 or something you know just it uh yeah it just didn't feel particularly great going like 100 percent in the other direction yeah i can see how some people are salty from a hardcore perspective about that yeah, I, I don't think it's unjustifiable it's just you gotta choose the lesser evil i'm sure there is a system where it's better but for right now with the limited amount of time that they have to like react and do all this stuff yeah i mean you choose the lesser evil and realistically the lesser evil is to go 100 percent on the other way than the than this way